Hey guys, how you doing? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Uh, in Cupid's Corner, we have this segment that we do for you guys uh, because we want to make sure that your guys' relationship is flourishing. Uh, it's taking it to the next level, a good level, progressing, because everything in life, you want to have progression. You want to go into a positive way. Right. Right. And there's a lot of people that lose their way in their relationships, and they go through problems and issues, and sometimes they just don't know how to get back on track. Mm -hmm. So me and Sharice always put together some great tips and tricks to help you guys get back on track, maybe reignite that flame, and flourish the relationship to a better, prosperous relationship for both of you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Because... It takes two to tango, right? Always. Always takes two to tango. I mean, you could probably tango by yourself, but it's not fun. Uh, yeah, and you probably get a little bored or then you're feeling <laughs> a little distant or a little ignored if it, uh, it's only one person. So. Well, you also want to make sure, too, because once you don't communicate, then you might start growing separately. Yes. And once you get so far down the yellow brick road, yes. you know, then you meet, uh, what is it, lions, tigers, and bears? Oh, my. Yeah, you know, you don't basically want to grow apart. All right. You want to grow together and not apart. So we've came up with a couple different things that you guys can talk about as couples that should definitely bring you guys closer together. So let's talk about some of these different things that you guys can talk about that maybe will reignite the relationship or bring back great memories. And speaking of memories, the first one is reminiscing about great vivid memories. Good ones. All right. Good positive memories positive. that you had in your relationship. So we always like to give an example of some of the things mm -hmm. that, you know, we bring up because it's real life scenarios that me and Sharice have went through um, that have got us here. And these are some of the things that we do. So when we're talking about vivid memories, you know, you're like, <laughs> what's a vivid memory? You know, I can have nightmares and they're vivid, right? But no, you want a positive memory. So for us, we were just talking about it, I think last week. Usually, Sharice, we always go on her little birthday vacation, okay? We usually go to like a Caribbean island or something really cool that we can just spend our time together, alone, bond, and she can have a fun time for her birthday and just celebrate. Mm -hmm. So, one year we went to Cabo, mm -hmm. and in Cabo we had an amazing trip. So, we were reminiscing about that trip because it came up in Facebook memories. Yeah. So, we were looking at it, we're like, man, that was probably the best trip we've ever been on. You know, we had we had a private chef. We had this great house. You know, the weather was perfect. You know, the people we had with us were perfect. Yeah, it was a good trip. It, it was just it was it was Fine. a great trip. And you know, reminiscing about that trip and some of the things that we did, like we went four wheeling, which was really cool. She was all scared about the four wheeling. <laughs> well, because John was driving all quick, and I just kept telling him in the back of his ear, because you know I'm on the back. I'm like, you better not kill us because we have a kid at home. We yeah. have to go back to Peter, yeah. and he's like, will you just be quiet yes. or get on your own four wheel? Yes. I'm like, I don't want to get on my own four-wheeler. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I have to bring this up because this is a really good one, right? So, obviously, Cabo was amazing, right? Yep. And all vacations are awesome. But vivid memories is, you know, maybe something that sticks with you forever and ever and ever, right? Long-lasting. Um, one of my vivid memories, and it'll always stick with me, and it'll always stick with him, too. Watch uh -oh. watch the face when I bring it up, because he did, we don't we don't pre-plan half of this when we do talk to you guys. We come up with these topics, and then there's a lot of times I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to bring this up. So here I am bringing it up. Organic. Organic. You got to love organic. You know, right. everything should be planned out. So how about when me and John first got together in Gasparilla? Ooh, I remember that one, too. <laughs> it's so vivid because he had to, you know... It's very vivid on many, many levels because, A, okay, it was Gasparilla, and those of you who don't know, it's like a huge parade that every year, that blah, 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 whatever, okay. So it's a great parade. It's every year that they, they have the ships come in, and everybody goes. It's like huge. It's, it's like a, a huge tradition It's here like a Tampa. Mardi Gras for Tampa, huge Florida, tradition. Huge right? Tradition. And um, they got all the boats to put together and all this fun stuff. Now, this is when me and John very, very first met, right? So <laughs> it was vivid, good, vivid, bad, but it ended up good regardless. <laughs> because listen, listen, hear me out now. So where I'm on this boat and I'm waiting for him, right? And he's, you know, blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks away. And I'm on the phone like, hey, where are you? Like, are you going to even come hang out with me? Do you want to hang out with me? And he's like, I am trying to fight through like literally thousands of people to come and see you. So he did. He had to walk how far was it? 
I didn't know how far. <laughs> it had to be at least how a couple was miles. It? it was two a couple miles. I mean, least. it was a couple miles. Who, who cares? But right? it was through all the people. That was the big problem. It wasn't just walking there. It was literally there's thousands. But I mean, of obviously, I'm on the other line. Like, okay, so how many people are you stopping to talk to? You know, before you come get me, like come hang out with me. By the time you get over here, the Gasparilla is gonna be over, and this is just you know this this is just I'm so upset. So you know that's me. Of course, I'm like 21 years old, so you know don't judge me. And this is a very long time ago. So, anyways, he makes his way. Long story short, makes his way all the way after this long trip, right? And I'm on this boat with, you know, I was at the time I was, you know, doing my little side gig with Coors Light, you know, and I had my, um, what was it, the brand ambassador thing, whatever, you know. And um, I'm on this boat with a bunch of girls and, you know, he finally shows up and I'm like, I'm so excited at this point because he finally showed up. And this is kind of like the point where we're kind of talking, you know, we weren't dating you know, this is the did this is the day we did tie the knot on the yeah, day. It was, that night. It, was yeah. it was it was that night, right? Yeah, yeah. See, and it makes us smile when we talk about this yeah. because it's it was a good memory, right? Yeah. So, you know, he gets over there and there's this you know like a bar like because it was a Tampa General Hospital is what it's called, yeah. and he's over there with his friend because he brought a friend with him, and there is water between us like to be able to get together. So how is John at this point? You know, because there's a big bar right here. There's no nothing, no like little bridge that's going to bring him over. <laughs> and I don't think we actually thought this through properly. Before. I didn't exactly know the layout. <laughs> okay. I, I thought it was coming over there. She's going to be on the boat. It was going to be close. Like, you know, you can walk down to the dock type deal. I was that, in the middle of the, the thing. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, at that point, he was going to have to swim, you know, but that would be terrible because. <laughs> I was fully dressed. I ain't swimming nowhere. Yeah, was fully dressed. So you want to tell them how you made it over? So basically, listen, by, by Tampa General Hospital, anybody knows this Tampa. Is, this is this is godsend. There's, there's this huge like a huge, godsend. Like, like not it's not a gate, but you know there's these bars basically, so people don't can't fall in the water or anything like that. So I had to go over the bars. Well, when I first started doing it, one of the security <laughs> guards at TGH told me I couldn't. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to get down there. I'm like, oh my god, situation. he made it all the way over here. And he's not going to be able to hang out with me. So he finally was like, all right, go ahead. So I go over the bar now. All right, how am I going to get out into the water? Well, <laughs> luckily, it just, it just, you know, God works in mysterious ways, See, it was right? meant to be. So at that point, there was this little dude, and he had this tugboat. <laughs> It was literally like maybe a two or three person tugboat. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, man, I'll pay you like 20 bucks. Just take me like right over there. It was literally. So for him, he was like, oh, okay, no problem. Get on in. So we literally got in this tugboat and they took us across, you know, all over there. And that's, you know, how I finally got on the, the boat. It was just crazy how it happened, but it all worked out. You know, it always usually does. You know, I believe that God has a plan. And if you follow that plan or you do it to your best ability, then things are usually going to work out in your best way. You know, it is what it is. So that was just one thing. That you was know? a good memory. That, it's, are... a, it's a vivid, good memory. We bring, I bring it up because, you know, it was, I mean, obviously it's the day that we, you know, tied the knot on our, you know, yeah. that night. Yeah, later know? on that night. Yeah, later, later. on that night, right, Where after we get back, because it's, it's a pain in the butt even to leaving get Gasparilla. get out of right? there. Oh, my goodness. So we went, we went back. <laughs> we finally got back, and she, we had one of her girlfriends in the car with us at the time. And the girlfriend's like, you know. No, this is in the garage, in her garage. It was there in the car. Yeah. Right? So at that point, <laughs> she's like, are you guys going out? Are you guys dating? Kind of put us like right on the spot. I know, you know? I'm in front of each other. And then we kind of like looked at each other like, yeah. I yeah, mean, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, that's that's a story. <laughs> and then, you know, what is it, 12 years later? Yeah. We're Married, soulmates, kids. You know? business you know i mean this is that's that was crazy. so random it, it was it was definitely a good story <laughs> we definitely got some good stories good you stories know? Like, and i'm sure a lot of you guys do too i mean yeah. you guys if you guys have been together for x period of time yeah. i'm sure you guys have had some good stories that Absolutely. you guys can bring up to each other like hey remember that one time you know yeah. it's it's just nice to bring it up you know and <laughs> it's remember good the reminisce. good times. Yeah, it's good to remember the. That's an old saying, right? Remember the good times. Right. You know, and, and just don't. If there are some bad things that happen, just don't focus on the negative things. If there were good things, hopefully, in the relationship, and you guys have some great vivid memories. Or you guys, if you don't, you guys need to make some. Yeah, go and make that some. will bring you closer together. So, I mean, usually the couples usually do. You know, they have some good ones, but you know, over time, some people lose lose track of those good memories or. 
they don't make new memories, you know, that they can, they can reminisce about and laugh about and have a good time about thinking about it. So at that point, make sure that you guys are making great memories together, vivid memories that are positive. If you guys have negative things going on, try to create some vivid, positive memories for the future. That way, if you ever get in that situation ever again, you guys can look back on the good times and laugh about it instead of just focusing on bad things, okay? Mm -hmm. that's I think people lose track of that all the time. So it, it's really important. It's definitely really important. Gasparilla story, I love it. <laughs> Gasparilla. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the next thing, I mean, we might as well talk about it. We'll combine it with two. So... Hey guys, today I want to talk about something very, very important. This is like HRT maintenance. And what it is, is it's a therapeutic phlebotomy. Okay, and what a therapeutic phlebotomy does is, it means that we're going to drain blood out of our system. And the reason why. So when you get a high red blood cell count, hemoglobin hematocrit, what can happen is, is your blood thickens. So when that blood thickens, it's hard to move throughout the body. It can become sludge-like, and this can cause a number of different things from DVTs, blood clots, strokes, and this could be terminal to you. Like it hurts you really bad, or you might have to go on blood thinners for a long extended period of time. So at that point, what happens is, is with the therapeutic lobotomy, we're draining this blood, and what's going to happen is, is those numbers are going to go down. Now, you should be getting monitored during any HRT. So if you're taking testosterone, replacement and if you're taking just testosterone you're taking other androgens or anabolics it's very important to monitor your complete blood cell count CBC and that's where you're going to see red blood cell count hemoglobin and hematocrit monitoring these numbers is essential and you want to make sure these numbers don't go too high because it puts you in that high risk category but if they are too high or they're getting there you can always do a blood donation one or a therapeutic phlebotomy. Now, the difference between a blood donation and a therapeutic phlebotomy is this, is that you can usually go up to a blood donation site without a doctor's prescription, and they will usually let you donate blood. But you might hit some of these different categories where they X you out of being able to donate blood, but you still need to get the blood out of your system. This is where it comes into play with the prescription from the medical provider, which is a prescribed therapeutic phlebotomy. Now, after this, it's probably gonna last about 10 minutes. I should be feeling better. When you have a high hemoglobin and hematocrit and red blood cell count, you could be getting headaches, high blood pressure, and a number of different things that can cause this. So at that point, you wanna make sure that you're getting monitored properly, you're doing proper blood donations. Usually if you're on HRT or doing testosterone, you wanna do at least two donations every year. Now, everybody's different. So this could be more. Um, some people do less, it really just all depends. Usually my levels aren't too high, but they are encroaching that level right now. So at that point, we're being precautious. We don't want these levels to go too low. So you don't wanna keep doing therapeutic phlebotomies or keep donating back to back to back because if these levels go too low, that could harm you as well. So it's all about harmonic balance in the body. And this is where this comes into play. So guys, I wanna share my experience with you, some of this education information that can help you guys out. If you guys have any more further questions about this or you're a patient or want to become a patient, you guys can always call or text us at 727-389-3220 and check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned, stay healthy, stay safe. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about Titan Complete. I get a lot of questions about Titan Complete. It's a signature vitamin amino acid injectable blend that we have here at Titan Medical Center, specifically and exclusively for our patients. 
It actually combines two signature blends that we had before, Tighten Up and Tighten Strong. We combine these two to make it easier for our patients to inject one time and get the benefits of both therapies. So, what's in Titan Complete and how's it gonna help you? The first one is methionine. Second one is inositol. Third one's choline. B1 through B6, so your B complex. B12, all three of the branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. It also has L-carnitine. So what are the benefits of these ingredients and how are they gonna help you? So MYC, methionine, inositol, and choline are gonna help with processing fats in the liver faster, getting those fats out of the liver, helping boost the metabolism. B-complex is gonna be great for a number of different things, for energy, for hair, for skin, for nails, for immune function, for blood cell count. These are some great benefits just with the B-complex. B12 is gonna help utilize fats and carbohydrates and turn them into energy for you guys. The branch chain amino acids, the essential amino acids, that means your body cannot produce them. You have to get them from an outside source, okay? These are gonna be great for one, not going into a catabolic effect, right? And having your muscle breakdown. It's gonna be great for brain function. It's also gonna be great for utilizing and mobilizing fats in the body. So it's gonna be great for weight loss effect along with the other components. You also have L-carnitine. And L-carnitine's in almost every cell in our body. And it's gonna help out with more energy. So you can boost and rev that metabolism even more and more naturally because of these are things that your body needs. Now, I also get a lot of questions. Can I get this straight from a diet? Can if I just eat? The answer is yes. But who out there has a perfect diet that thinks they're getting all these things in? I have a pretty good diet and not even myself can get all these things in that I need. So that's why I do the injectable version. That's why our patients do it. It's going to deliver all these things that your body needs in one simple little injection within 45 seconds to a minute. It's that simple and you get all the benefits out of it. Okay, so Titan Complete, one of our signature vitamin amino acid injectable therapies here at Titan Medical Center. If you want more information about it or want to read up on it, go to TitanMedicalCenter.com. If you want to become a patient or would like us to discuss it with you, please call or text 727-389-3220. I'm John from Titan, guys, and thank you for tuning in. What's up guys, John here, and I'm in the house with Drew from MI40, and he's getting his blood drawn today. So, he has this big contest prep, he's gonna tell you about it a little bit. So we wanna make sure he's healthy on the inside. We're in a variety of different tests, from all his hormones, free and total testosterone, estradiol level, IGF-1 levels. Wanna make sure his liver, his kidneys, electrolytes are on point, thyroid's on point, cholesterol, all these different things mm -hmm. that you cannot see from the outside. These are only things that you're gonna be able to see from the blood draw, from his blood results. So we're getting them taken care of in-house, all PPE'd up, and all ready to go. So we're gonna have Lindsay give him a stick, and at that point, we're gonna go from there. Is there anything you wanna add, Drew? Uh, I'm just looking forward to taking the first step here to getting everything right. So this ended up being an extremely long and extremely brutal contest prep, so. Health is my number one priority, so I just want to make sure this is going to be the first step, finding out what exactly it is that we need to get in there and uh, take care of. And how long were you prepping for, Drew? This prep ended up being about seven months long, just wow. because every show kept getting shut down. And, yep. you know, I figured I'd diligently do my part and try and push forward, and yep. that went month after month. And, you know, the stresses of prep end up piling up, and it goes way longer than you expect. And then we're left in a situation where I just want to make sure that everything is optimized. Gotcha. I want to make sure we can get back to normal and then better, too. Gotcha. So that's what we're going for here. Health is number one priority because without your health, you're not getting out of bed, you're not doing shows, you're not doing photo shoots, you're not hanging out with your family, significant others. So health is number one priority here at Titan Medical Center before all. So if there is something messed up, it's better to find out now, get to it early, make sure you fix it, get you healthy and then optimize things. So we're looking forward to getting the results back. We're gonna do a follow-up video with Drew see the results, go through it, do a consultation so you guys can see firsthand what we do here at Titan Medical Center. So I appreciate it. Stay tuned. Thanks, Drew, and we'll be seeing you here in a couple days. Sounds good. All right, guys. 
Thanks a lot. It's dealing with their problems. So if you have problems, you know, your partner is like your sidekick. So if you have problems, and this goes for like professional per se. So if you guys don't work together, like me and Charisse, we work together all the time. So we can always bounce things off of each other. Now, if you're not working this city of the other and you have a professional job and something's happening there and you might need some input, it's always a good thing to go back to your, your sidekick or your partner and be like, hey, listen, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. They might give you some insight that you've never even thought of before. You know, and it might just like that, that light bulb goes off. Wow. You know, because there's definitely been times and before in Titan, you know, when I was working, doing other jobs mm -hmm. um, and I'd come back to Sharice and she would definitely, you know, it, it's it's different thinking. People think in different ways and come up with different answers or think about different solutions. So that's that's kind of where it comes into play where, listen, you, you need to bounce it off your partner maybe. And they might give you an answer that you didn't even think of or weren't even going to come up with yourself. Mm -hmm. And it might be a really good solution to whatever problem you have professionally. You know, if it's a relationship, obviously you want to share those feelings with your partner. Uh, if you feel neglected or you don't feel some type of way, they're not mind readers, <laughs> right? So your partners, you know, they might know you very well or might know what you're thinking some of the time, but sometimes they might not. And you might feel some type of way, and at that point they don't even know what's going on or why you're mad at them. Mm -hmm. And then until they're like, hey, are you mad at me? Like, of course I'm mad at you. <laughs> That, you have to ask that. that is my you have to ask that. <laughs> Do you? You, you, you don't you know me did? right now. You, you know you're upset. You made me like, <laughs> like listen. I didn't mean to make you upset like that. You know it is what it is, and you kind of talk about it and get over it. So you got to talk about it though. Like you, you can't gotta talk about it. You know I I am notorious. Whatever I am notorious for doing the whole bottle up thing. Now, I've gotten better at it, right? Because I used to do the bottle up thing and bottle it up for like days, days, maybe even weeks at a time. And it would just bottle up, bottle up, bottle up. And then something like really, really stupid would happen. Like, you know, it would be totally off the record and just something really dumb. It would be like something like you poured me like a quarter cup instead of a half cup and I'd freak out. And he would be like, what is your, like, do you need medication or something <laughs> like are you bipolar <laughs> and you know it's because i would bottle it up so i still do the like the bottle up thing probably just maybe hours now you know a few hours might go by and i do the bottle up thing maybe a day i've gotten better at it but you you do you have to communicate how you're feeling and if if something has upset you or has made you you know has hurt your feelings or has you know made you feel some type of way like john was saying mm -hmm. you know you're gonna have to express that to them or they're not gonna know you know and if you don't feel like you can talk to them about it that's a whole nother problem on its own and honestly sharing your feelings can go both ways whether you're feeling really good about something you're giving a positive affirmation of something mm -hmm. you know it doesn't always have to be negative mm -hmm. you know it could be positive and people don't hear positive responses from you so they might not think well, you know nothing i ever do is good enough i just told john this right day. nothing He's ever is good enough but i give you credit all the time so at that point like you know yeah it is but uh, you know it, it, this, this is where it comes down if somebody ever says that to you and this is what i told sharice i said listen <laughs> real it's, life it's not that nothing's ever good enough but if something is wrong Right. I'm going to tell you about it. Right. Because if you don't tell them about it, then you're going to start bottling up. It's going to cause you to feel some type of way about the situation or person or thing that went on or whatever it is. And it's going to create probably a negative result. But, but it'd be nice to balance it. But, so the balancing, okay, <laughs> let's just say that, that let's just say that there was this nice job that was done by whatever it's something you did it worked out well and it turned out nice but there was one thing that was wrong with it right so then combine it and like in in, in a combined sentence everything looks good but, but <laughs> versus skipping over the everything looks good part okay going to the butt part which is the negative part and then saying like oh yeah but i mean everything looks good it just kind of like, it kind of takes away the good, you know? So, listen, 
honestly, everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody has different ways of communicating with each other. Some people communicate different than others. Like me and John, we have our own way of communicating with each other. And we're not perfect either. You know, mm -hmm. we're not perfect not either. Perfect. All the way up to now, right this second, 12 years later. I mean, I love him to death. I'm not going to, I told him, you're either going to be with me or 10 feet under. So it doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. I so. disappear, you guys know. It's like Carol Baskin. <laughs> Watch out, I don't be fed to the tigers or uh, in the backyard. No, listen, me and all my girlfriends, we have a secret spot for him. We're going to try to cook him. me up by cannibals. Watch out. <laughs> He'd be good, though. He's very oh, meaty. No. He's very meaty. No meat. fat. It won't be tasty at all, I promise. <laughs> So, you know, everybody has their own way of communicating with each other. So you just have to you have to know your partner good enough to be able to not press buttons on them. That's going to make them upset and then maybe cool down to let the other person do what they need to do as vent or vice versa. You know, because if you're both venting at the same time, it never turns out good. Yeah. So you got to one's got to even out the other. So you got to you just need to be able to work with each other on that. Mm -hmm. Me and John have mastered that. And to this day, we still, you know, we might have an argument about something. It's not everything's not everything is going to be perfect. No. I don't ever think everything is going to be perfect. But can we always fix it, make it right, do better, do better, right? Do better. So just try. It's Be better good. and not bitter. Yeah. Hey, we saw that the other day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, these are just some of the tips and tricks that me and Sharice have, have encountered or developed or used, right, to enhance our relationship uh, to a better place because nothing's perfect. So you just got to keep working on it. Yeah. It's just like a job. You got to put in that time, put in that hard work and effort, and you guys will get usually something really good out of it. Mm -hmm. So this has been another Cupid's Corner on Sunday. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Yep. Thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday every at 11. Every Sunday, 11. Yeah, 11 a.m. You guys can catch us on ABC or on Facebook. Go to the Type Medical Center page. You guys can see the show there too as well. Or any of these different segments that you might see. All right, guys. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are out. See ya. Mwah.